Hello everyone. Um, I'm just doing what is hopefully a quick video. Um, if only because, well, I don't have many updates. Um, unfortunately, uh, I missed, uh, my DOM order was shipped and, um, it came today, actually. My watch is not home and I didn't leave it, so... That sucks. So I have to try and find a time to get to the post office to get it. Um, there's a chance I could go Friday because I get off work early, but it is Christmas Eve, so I think they close early. I'm gonna try and call them tomorrow and see what's happening. Um, if they do, and of course they're closed Christmas Day, then I'm going to ask. Um, um, ask my boss if there's a, if I could leave early Monday and use some of my sick time, um, and just early enough so I can take the bus down there. I wouldn't have to leave too early. I'd probably only have to use, like, an hour, possibly two hours of my, um, sick time, but just so I can get down there and get it so I don't have to wait till next Saturday, um, especially since I don't even know if they're open next Saturday because it's a New Year's Day. Um, and I don't want them to return it because <laughs> I would be really upset because <laughs> I spent a lot of money on Rye. Um, and I want him to have his stuff. I wanted him to have it for Christmas, but I don't know if that's going to work out. So, boo. Um, anyway, um, so right now, poor Rye, I would hold him. But unfortunately, poor Rye here is not wearing pants. He's uh, wearing a towel. <laughs> um, the reason why is because I was prepping him for his Dalmore stuff. The black pants that come with him, um, not this full set, I was warned that they um, may stain him. So uh, I had kept him in them anyway because they're like, well, you can, you know, remove the stains with some water um, or. Um, Mr. Clean, you know, racer thing. Um, so, uh, but then I, I panicked. I was like, wait a minute. I never asked her how badly it stained and blah, blah, blah. Like, I was imagining horrible things. Like, um, I, uh, when I was about to prep him and make sure he, his legs and everything were okay, I, uh, <laughs> Before I did even did it, I started crying because I was like, oh my god, he's probably ruined. He's probably like black from his feet to his waist. And I, it was really awful. I was very dramatic about it and I did cry. It was great. Um, but when I took it off, he only had um, a couple spots, which came off pretty easily. Um, some in places I won't mention for his modesty. <laughs> but um and his feet were fine from the boots and everything was fine. He just had like three places and they were really tiny. And I only found them because I, I really looked for them. So um, before I put him in his new clothes, I'm going to um, check him over again to make sure I got everything. But um, yeah, he didn't get stained too badly at all. Just like three little spots. And I was very happy about that because like it was something I completely like forgot about until the day I did I I was um, going to take his pants off because um, I was definitely warned but I so forgot because <laughs> um, I'm I don't know I'm like that so here's a uh, you know the Dalmore order probably won't get that in time for Christmas but I'll let you know I did um, though get his new wig um, it's a doll heart wig um, that I bought off the marketplace secondhand. Um, it doesn't look like it was really used ever, but I don't know. I haven't tried it on him yet because I was waiting for his clothes. Um, <laughs> so I think I'm going to continue to wait for his clothes because I want to see the whole look because I bought some stuff that like is really his style. And um, so I want to get the full effect all at once. And I really like this wig on him. And I'm getting like super used to it, so I kind of want to keep it on him for a little bit longer. Um, I'm very, very so happy I bought this wig. Um, even though it's not what I first envisioned, it's very much him. Um, too bad he's so white skinned, you can't really see it. 
I was trying to block some glare, but I don't know where it's coming from. It's just it's because he's just that way. Uh, ish. It's coming from over there. Um, oh, one more thing. I did um, order him new eyes finally. Um, I went to Mint on Card and they had in stock their glass, some of their glass eyes. Um, I wanted to find some, I don't, I don't want to say cheap, but I, I, that's what I was going for. I wanted to find some cheap glass eyes to try um, on him before I committed and bought anything expensive or I actually want captured in glass eyes. Those are the eyes I want. Um, I can't remember the exact DOA name for them. I think it's just doll eyes, but I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, I wanted captured in glass eyes. But before I ordered, I didn't want to order and just be like, well, I want them in this size. And I didn't know. Like, I think the eyes I have for them, which I believe are the ones on the site, which are 18 millimeter, I think they're too big. Um, so the glass eyes I got him are actually 16 millimeter. Um, I got them to try. I got, um, ones with an, an iris and ones without. The reason why I got ones without is because, well, my hair is supposed to be a vampire and I have vampire and mage slash, well, the mage, those are pretty much, you know, human type characters, you know. And I was like, well, maybe to differentiate them, I could have some, uh, is that Iris or people? My God. <laughs> you know what I mean, but I guess it's Iris, I think. Uh, anyway, I wanted, I wanted to try him and all my vampires and eyes without an Iris, just the pure color, um, to, and have all the, like, human-like, human-like characters have, um, an, an iris have more you know normal what we're accustomed to eyes um so something we're going to try i got a set of each in 16 millimeter if those don't work out i didn't lose too much money i mean i was still more costly than i wanted it to be it was 22 dollars with uh insurance and shipping and for both pairs of eyes um which is not as bad nowhere near as bad as could be like the ones i have for him now were I think $14, $15. Um, mind you, they may be of a higher quality and they have backs to them, which the ones I have upcoming don't. Um, but that, I mean, I, I just wanted ones to try. I didn't want them to be too ridiculously expensive. Um, and uh, I knew these were more than likely going to be kind of temporary. So that's why I didn't mind the fact they didn't have stems. <clears throat> and we'll see how it works out. I'm hoping for the best. Um, and if they do work out, then I'll get the captured in glass eyes. Um, either with the iris or without. We'll see what happens. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I have um, been starting a list of dolls I've been wanting. And it's more than I thought. Um, and I'm adding another one for certain. Like, um, all the dolls on the list are ones I want absolutely for certain that I have no real, real second thoughts about. Um, and the newest one is Ring Doll P Peter, I guess you pronounce it. I mean, it has two T's in it, but, you know. Um, he's, uh, newest on my list, and he's a definite. I was going to get the chai, uh, Ring Doll Chai, but in seeing Peter, I was like, that's the one I want. <laughs> so he'll probably be my first ring doll. Um, I can't put money on him until I pay one of the dolls I have on layaway off. So he's not going to be an immediate purchase, which um, is okay because right now I'm offering a 50% off special for him, but only if you're um, a member. I think if you order from them before. I'm not sure the specifics on how you become a member. Um, but uh, since I don't have that, um, I might as well wait. <laughs> and then I added a doll onto my list that I never thought I would add ever. Um, because whenever I saw them on the site, I was just like, no, 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 not the doll for me. But apparently, um, I 
I fell for him and fell for him hard. And it, it makes me upset because uh, Friday, um, oh, let me talk. It's a Dolce um, Saint, um, which I've always looked at and be like, oh, no, I don't want him. But the other day I was just looking around at different ones and it's amazing what you can do with his face. I probably would not get the company face up. I'd get him blank and send him off um, to someone. And um, it just hit me how much he just reminds me of this character I have, Malcolm. Um, what sucks, though, is that um, until Friday, Dulce is having a, like, a great um, winter special. And you can get... Um, I could get him for $325 by shipping. Unfortunately, I don't have... Um, $325 or even partial that to put him on layaway. I even thought about it like, like, oh, what can I cut off, blah, blah, blah. But then I forgot, um, I mean, remembered, I should say, that next month I have to fit in two major events. One is going to Texas at random to see a Shearwater <laughs> concert. Um, it'll, and that will cost about $250 to $300, which I hope I have. Um, like for the last man I don't have it, I'm not sure what to do, but I'll figure it out. Um, and then after that is Ohio Con, which I don't have a room for, but I'm going to go off three days and just not get any sleep and be out of my mind because uh, I'll probably leave once everyone is, uh, everything is done. Um, I'm done with the parties if there if I go to any um and then uh come back like as soon as the next event's gone because I want the full everything out of it so um that's not going to be too costly because um fortunately for me I don't have to buy a lot of stuff stuff at conventions like there's not a lot of stuff that catches my eye, but I do want to make sure I have money for food and make sure um, I'm going to pay for the entry fee next paycheck, so that will be set aside, but it won't be a very expensive endeavor, but I want to make sure I have some leeway, so unfortunately I sh can only stick with the dolls I have on layaway, um, and just realize, you know, um, I can't be too greedy about it. Um, but yeah, so don't she say can't get now, but I am, and I'm very surprised I am. And yeah, I have a rainbow on the list again, finally, because like I talked to myself out of hand. Um, he just wasn't hitting it for me anymore, but he either hits it perfectly, and I'm very happy to add him to the list. I just need to figure out which character he represents. So yeah, um. That's all the news I have. <laughs> You'll have to excuse my um, lacklusterness or whatever it is. I just had to, uh, it was that time again to put Frontline on my cats. And they're very um, skittish and afraid of everything. So it's very stressful to do it. And uh, I had to chase one, one of my cats around the house and like corner her to put the front line on it. It was just like, I get just overly upset and overly tired. <laughs> so yeah, but yay for stuff and, and rice is high. I didn't realize until yesterday after I had like a, a mini skirt, I probably won't go too much into it. I think to make a long story short, I thought I saw someone outside my apartment. Um, I'm not sure if I did or not. I never confirmed it because it's hard to confirm something like that, but um, I had a scare and I was afraid to come back home, but when I did, Brian was sitting here waiting for me, I had to give him a hug and he's so huggable. I didn't know dolls were huggable like that. <laughs> Very comforting. But yeah, um, so I'm going to go now. That's pretty much all the news I have for you. And, um, and I'll let you know if I get the doll more stuff. And of course, I'll probably open it on camera simply because it'll be neat to um, show the stuff I got. Um, and yeah, that's all. <laughs> Bye.